this video, I'm going to show you the new free getaway challenges and rewards in Fortnite Battle Royale. Welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and in this video, I'll be showing you guys the new getaway heist event that is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. I have all the league challenges, rewards, information and much more. Now real quick, I'm giving away an icon skin for free to a lucky subscriber. You guys broke the challenge of 10,000 likes, so that means I have to give the skin away. So if you want to have a chance of winning this exclusive skin, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video and also make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what console you play on. From there, stay tuned here on the channel as I will be picking a random lucky subscriber and announcing him or her in an upcoming video. Anyways, if you are going to enjoy the video, be sure to give the like down below and let's do another like goal on this video. You guys have been smashing these like goals every single time lately. Can we get 7,777 likes on this video? If we can reach that like goal, it would make my day and I hope this video does make your day. Now also, subscribe for more videos like these and by the way, I will be replying to each and every single comment down below in the comment section. And if you have turned on your notifications, be sure to comment hashtag notification squad and I will give your comment a heart. And if you don't believe me, try it out yourself and your comment will get a heart. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so yesterday, the V8.1 update dropped in Fortnite and a lot has happened. A bunch of old skins received new styles such as the Renegade Raider, the Elite Agent, the Scarlet Defender and the Whiteout skin. From there, the baller got added to the game and vending machines are now free to use. Also worth to mention, Snobby Shores is slowly getting conquered by the Vikings and healing items as well as the bush now have new cool animations. As regards to leaks, a bunch of new cosmetics are coming to the game as well as the new Lagoon starter pack. From there, we should also receive a new weapon by the name of the Flintlock Pistol. And last of all, we're also going to get the Poison Dart Trap very soon. Now, next to all these leaks, we're also going to receive a couple of events. And these being a St. Patrick's Day event as well as a getaway event. Now, the getaway event is what we're going to talk about today. Alright, so if you guys remember, back on the 6th of September 2018, Epic Games gave us the high stakes event, which included a couple of things. First of all, it brought the wildcard skin to the item shop with its matching bag blade. From there, it also gave us a complete new LTM named the getaway LTM. And with that, they also brought challenges and rewards to the game. The challenges were called the high stakes challenges, and the rewards could be unlocked by completing those couple of simple challenges in a new LTM named the getaway LTM. Now, back then, Fortnite released a trailer of this event, so let's take a look at it right now, shall we? However, after the LTM and the challenges got removed out of the game, they never came back, and so did the wildcard skin. So, this wildcard skin is actually pretty rare. Now, today, the leakers found something which no one really expected. The leakers found out that they're going to get a part 2 of this high stakes event. The getaway LTM is coming back to the game and so are the challenges, including new ones. So that means we're going to be able to unlock even more free items here in Fortnite. And by the way, these challenges are called the getaway challenges. Anyways, big shout out to all the leakers who dove into the game files and found all these leaks for us. So make sure to show them some support. I will leave a link to their Twitter pages down below in the description. Now, let's start with all the leaks. First of all, let's talk about the release date. In the game files, there hasn't been found an official release date yet, but Epic Games teased us already. Today on Twitter, they tweeted out this. As you can see, it only shows emojis, but it tells us a lot. We can see an emoji of a gym, an ace, a diamond, a club, a heart, and a bag of money. And this refers directly to the getaway LTM. So, because of this tweet, we can expect that this LTM and this event is coming very soon. Possibly tomorrow, which is Thursday, the 14th of March. Fun fact, if you go over to tier 86 of the Season 8 Battle Pass, you can find yourself this banner icon showing us the Llama Crystal. 
So, Epic Games was already trying to give us hints, they were telling us that the Getaway LTM was going to make its return in Season 8. Now, like I said, that also does mean the Wildcard skin is going to come back to the item shop with its matching bag bling. This is what the Wildcard skin looks like with its matching bag bling named the Cuff Case. This is a legendary set, which means it is going to cost you 2,000 V-Bucks in the item shop. This skin has four different styles, pretty much four different masks. Now, with this skin, the Safecracker Glider is also going to make its return to the item shop. The glider is blue, which means it is from Rare Rarity, which that means it's going to cost you 800 V-Bucks in the item shop. When both the skin and the glider are getting released in the item shop and you decide to buy them, make sure to use my support and credit code SHUFFLEGAMER. That would be appreciated. By the way, if you use my code, leave a comment down below saying I used your code, and I'll personally give your comment a heart to show my appreciation towards you. Now, like I said, we're also going to get new challenges as well as rewards, and the only way to unlock them is by playing the new Getaway LTM. If you don't know what the Getaway LTM is about, let me give you a quick summary. The Getaway is a mode that revolves around players attempting to steal and deliver high-value jewels. Get a jewel, hop in a Getaway van, and secure that victory royale. Here on screen, you can see a lot more information about the Getaway LTM. The most important info being that jewels can be found in special supply drop safes, located along the edge of the first storm circle. These safes take a long time to open, so make sure the area is clear before attempting to claim a jewel. Four jewels will be in a play on the map at all times. If a player escapes with a jewel or one is lost in the storm, a new supply drop will bring a replacement. Four total getaway vents will be on the map three that arrive early in the match and one that shows up near the end. The goal is to find or steal a jewel and take it to one of the vents in order to secure a victory royale. Four teams can pretty much get a win per match. Now to even get a better picture of this LTM, watch this clip right here, where Epic Games first introduced this LTM. Right as you land, trust me, I can imagine it. There's the getaway van floating up there. The jeweled llama. Jack, you gotta get one of those for your house. I Just do, saying. I do. You see the team moving on up. They get to the, the van. They board it. And you know what? There's well the victory royale. Before you leave, right? <laughs> on the way out. What a ride. I love it. And you know what? We mentioned all the stuff going on. You see the skins there. The glider was in play tomorrow, actually. We'll take a look at the three high stakes challenges coming to Fortnite. And you know what? It's simple. Here's the plan. Four safes have been loaded into supply, job, supply drops scouted around the island, each carrying a large jewel. You and your crew must locate a safe, pick up the prize inside, and get away with the goods while battling enemies. The first four teams to make their way to a van with a jewel and a getaway win. Are you up for the job? Simple as that. Look, I mean, look, look, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? You see on the right side, the getaway vans, the, the safes that are on the map, all sorts of stuff going on. There's the jewel, picking it on up. Now there we go, hope you now fully understand how this LTM is going to work. Anyways, let's take a look at the leaked challenges and the leaked rewards. Okay, so first of all, we have the challenge to win matches of Getaway LTM. For getting one win, you're going to get one of the three Llama Crystal bag blinks. For getting a total of three wins, you're going to unlock another Llama Crystal, but then in a different color. And for getting a total of 5 wins, you'll be unlocking a third and final Llama Crystal Bag Bling. As you can see, these Llama Crystal Bag Blings come in green, red, and then white. The green crystal is the emerald, the red one is ruby, and the white one is diamond. From there, we have the challenge, use a grappler in different matches of the getaway. As of now, grapplers are vaulted, but in this game mode, you'll be able to find them again. All you have to do is use the grappler in 5 different matches. So, just find it from the floor, from a chest, or from a supply drop, and shoot it at least once for 5 games straight. And then, you'll be unlocking this loading screen right here. From there, we have the challenge, deal damage to jewel-carrying opponents. And you only have to deal a total of 200 damage. Now, what are jewel-carrying opponents? They are pretty much the players in the game who have the jewel from the safe. They have it in their inventory, and they will be easy to spot, as the jewel will glow on their back. So, just hit them with a few shots and you'll be fine. For completing this challenge, you get yourself this spray. It is called the Suited Up Spray, and this is what it looks like in the game. From there, we have a final challenge, and it's going to be pick up a jewel in different matches of the getaway. For this, just open the safe, pick up the jewel so it gets added to your inventory, or pick it up if you kill an opponent who was carrying it. Just do this for about 3 matches, and you will unlock this cash flow contrail. Definitely a cool one in my opinion. Now, once you complete all the challenges, you will unlock yourself a blue harvesting tool, which means it is from rare rarity. Now, this harvesting tool is called the crowbar, and this is what it looks like on screen. Definitely a harvesting tool which you want in your locker. Now, one more item which you're able to get is this wrap. 
this rep actually has four variants, just like the wild card skin itself. It has clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. These four reps are probably going to be part of a rep bundle in the item shop. Pretty much, you buy all four of them at once. Of course, this bundle is coming to the game in the item shop, probably for around 1200 V-Bucks or so. And this is what they look like in the game on vehicles and on weapons. Then last of all, we're also going to get ourselves a little St. Patrick's Day event as well in Fortnite. Now, on St. Patrick's Day, which takes place this year on Sunday, the 17th of March, we're going to get this skin with back bling and harvesting tool in the item shop. We also will be getting this wrap in the item shop too. And last of all, on St. Patrick's Day, we will be getting an LTM named Going Green. The description of this LTM reads, Classic Battle Royale with a St. Patrick's Day twist. All loot from chest is uncommon or green. Only the Buried Treasure item provides rarer loot. So, this LTM, all the loot is going to be green. It's like solid gold, but then solid green. So, that's everything you can expect on St. Patrick's Day this Sunday. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. But, with all that being said, always remember, this was Shovel Gamer, and I am signing out.